What's up y'all, this is Rob from Briggs Fitness and today I got a really special video for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about three major steps that you need to take before approaching your weight loss journey. Now, I've made a lot of mistakes. You can't be making noise while I'm doing my video, girl. Come here. Come. You want to say hi? Say hi. This is Brooklyn. Say hi. Now you're talking to somebody who made every mistake when it came to weight loss. When I was 350 pounds and I was desperate to lose weight, I did desperate things. I've tried cutting out carbs, I've tried soup diets, I've tried every crazy diet under the sun. And it wasn't until these three steps that I truly had any success with weight loss. Like none of this information came from books or, or any kind of field research. This is all from my blood, sweat and tears, my trial and error. And um, I'm sharing this with you guys, hoping that it'll prevent you guys from making the same mistakes that I made. So I'm basically making this video from the perspective of if I had to do my weight loss journey all over again, what would I do differently? All right, step one, you're going to absolutely have to get rid of excuses. Period. You're talking to somebody who used to be the king of excuses. And I had a coach tell me when I was nine years old that excuses are the building blocks of nothing. And I've never had someone tell me anything truer than that. Yes, you work 12 hours a day. Yes, you have three kids. Yes, you, you have to take care of your, your mom. Yes, you have this going on. Yes, you have to pay rent. We all do. But nothing's more important than your health. And until you get that through your head and you continue to make excuses, you're not gonna see results. Step two. You're going to have to reform your habits and you're going to have to reprogram your relationship with food. We're no longer going to put band-aids on the situation. We're going to attack the problem from the root and we're creatures of habit and everything we do is, a, is, a, is habitual. So if you want to change anything in your life, you have to attack it from the habit that causes the behavior. It takes repetition to form new habits and it takes discipline in order to keep the repetition going. So you have to dig deep. It has to be a priority. It has to be that important to you that you're not going to use an excuse. But understand, no matter how old you are, if you're 20, you're 30, you're 40, it took that long for you to form the habits that you currently have. So don't expect it to be reversed in two months, three months. Do it. And I know this stuff sounds super obvious, but I'm pretty sure you need to hear this right now. Step three, like I mentioned in step two, you're going to have to be patient. It's going to take time. It is a process that involves a lot of trial and error. You have a long life ahead of you. What's the rush? If this video helped you, I want you to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing videos every single week, maybe two a week. I really feel like my purpose is to provide the information that I learned from my journey in weight loss in order to help you guys be successful at it. And remember, don't be a punk. Get up in the morning and punch life in the face.